I just saw Paul's Fury The Legend of Hank, so let's talk about it. Paul's Fury The Legend of Hank is directed by Chris Bailey, Mark Coetzeer, and Rob Minkoff. It stars Michael Cera, Ricky Gervais, George Takai, Gabriel Iglesias, sorry if I'm mispronouncing these names, Michelle Yeoh, and Samuel Jackson. The plot of Paul's Fury, The Legend of Hank goes like this. Hank, a lovable dog with a head full of dreams about becoming a samurai, sets off in search of his destiny. A hard on his luck hound, Hank, finds himself in a town full of cats who need a hero to defend them from a ruthless, from a ruthless villain's evil plot to wipe their village off the map. So what did I think of Paul's Fury, The Legend? Well, before I even get into my actual thoughts on the movie, I just want to say that I'm honestly surprised this movie even saw the light of day. Why do I say that? Well, that's because this movie was stuck in production hell for God knows how long. Originally, this movie was going to be called Blazing Samurai, and was essentially going to be a parody of Mel Brooks' Blazing Saddles, but in a more family-friendly way. So before I even say anything about my thoughts on the movie, I just want to take the time to say that the people behind this movie definitely dedicated to helping this project see the light of day. And surprisingly enough, it did. Now that I've explained a brief history about this movie, let's get into my thoughts on the movie. I went into this with really low expectations because it did not look like it would offer much in an animated movie, and coming out of it, I was completely right. Now, there were a few things that I didn't like about the movie. For starters, I really like the animation, especially in the flashback sequences, as it looks very nice and well done. Also, there were a few jokes that were not laugh out loud funny, but I still found to appreciate for at least attempting to make me laugh. And I also think that the voice actors did a good job with their respective roles. However, that's everything that I liked about this movie, so now let's get down to the things that I disliked about this movie. For starters, the rest of the humor wasn't very good, and it really felt like they were trying way too hard to be funny and self-aware and it just came off as really unfunny for me especially considering how just because you are self-aware in your movie that doesn't mean it will automatically be funny sure sometimes it comes off as funny but other times it just comes off as way too try hard and unfunny and that's exactly what this film's humor is for the most part at least so I found all the characters to be really boring and not funny. Hank was a really boring protagonist for me, and at times he felt just plain unlikable. I mean, he constantly kept bringing up how he defeated Sumo, and essentially he was just bragging constantly about that. It became really annoying and further showed what an unlikable character he was. The main villain was also really boring, which was an honest shame for me because I genuinely felt like he could have been a very fun and entertaining villain, but no. The movie also tells a very generic and unoriginal story that we have seen a thousand times before. For that matter, this movie just feels really generic in general, with really nothing going for it in terms of originality. Overall, Pause of Fury, The Legend of Hank was just what I expected to be going into it. A very dull and generic animated movie with a very generic plot, very boring characters, including a very boring and kind of unlikable main character, and humor that, for the most part, just feels too try-hard and unfunny. It may have taken a long time for this movie to finally see the light of day, which I very much appreciate the people behind this movie and their dedication for it, but as Animat put it best, it really wasn't worth the wait. Overall, I'm gonna give this movie a 2 